What happened today, that made you happy? Honeybee sat on my leg. Cleaned itself and flew away, after about 5 minutes. Felt on it. I misread a due date for a lab and thought it was due on Saturday. June 6th. But it's not actually due until July 6th, so I don't have to be super stressed out about it. A hummingbird keeps coming to my window and hovering. No reason why, but it is fun to watch. My Oriole family in my yard wrecked my feeder, because it was empty. It made me happy to know, that I can help animals in some small way. It made me laugh to know, that they were all. Hey. Where's the food at? Lady. Edit wow. Thanks for the award. Got to see my friends. Been so long. The paper I've been working on through my whole PhD got accepted. My stew came out better than the last time I made it. The person in front of me in a drive through bought my breakfast. D. My boss told me I'm doing a good job. I underestimated how powerful yet scarce. Encouragement and praise can be. It's my birthday. I got my first job. A friend made too much banana bread and I get a whole loaf. A student wrote a paragraph on our online class about how much she enjoyed my class, and how much fun I made it. Made my week. Asked a girl I've liked for a really long time out. She said yes. I got a new job. Edit. TNX for the kind messages and first gold and silver. My test results came back negative for coronavirus, after being sick for the past 5 days. I'm still really sick, and I was pretty nervous, since I got tested, but I'm happy it's not that. I'm happy that I have more money in my savings account alone than I had in my checking, and savings combined a year ago. Money doesn't mean happiness. But the sense of relief and security is making me happy. The sun rays piercing through the morning clouds. It always puts a smile on my face seeing how beautiful it is. Went grocery shopping, and the guy behind me at the counter wore a shirt from my favorite band. IDKY. But it made my day. Edit. For the guys asking about the band, it was Sabaton. It's my birthday today. I got lots of texts from friends and family. But really my mom texted me telling me my age. X. And said X years of sunshine in my life. Love you I don't deserve such lovely parents. My 87 year old dad was declared cancer free. I'd met Arnold Schwarzenegger on Reddit, and he'd met me back. I spoke to an old friend. I heard the heartbeat of my baby for the first time. Got rejected from a job. They want more experienced people. But the co-owner of the company said my resume was very good. This is stimulating for me. Edit. Thank you for all the kind responses. It really made my day. My kitty climbed in bed with me this morning. Flop down. Curled up next to me. And started purring. Edit. By request. Not cat tax. Mom is doing better after complete kidney failure. Got called to apply for a supervisor position. Got her interview at another compay. My dog laid her head in my lap when I came home for lunch. Visited a 10 month old baby I removed from her parents 2 months ago. She used to be wide eyed. Hyper alert and constantly crying and seeking reassurance. She's now smiling. Confident. Comical baby with warm brown eyes who is thriving on the love, care and attention from her new carers. Sometimes my job is actually worthwhile. I saw a bee. My daughter told me she loved me. And that I'm her best friend. She's three. Almost four. Years old. I suffer from. Possible bipolar. Depression. And anxiety. So this made my heart swell. I don't know what I ever did to deserve such a precious child. Just typing this is making me tear up a little. Lol. My dad got a job as a warehouse manager that he needed, so he doesn't need to work to jobs and he can see me, and my family more edit. Don't think I'm being that guy, but to whoever awarded my comment. I have been on Reddit for technically over a year. Had to make a new account. 
and made as much good content as I could being a 15 year old kid. To whoever awarded me, you just made my day even better. Thank you. I just woke up. So I haven't been up for long. That being said I saw my wife walking around, before she knew I was up. She was wearing a t-shirt and underwear. She was listening to a podcast and smiling. The sun was in her hair. It was a very nice sight. Started a coaching process with a new client. First one since the start of the COVID-19 crisis. Cuddling with my cat this morning with a beautiful sunrise. I read this question. And it made me happy, that op is trying to make people happy, by making them think of something, that made them happy today. Had a good talk with my boss regarding job security and such. Found out our company is fine and my job is fine. Lots of stress gone. Told my boss to sell all of my vacation time except one week. Turns out I had 10 40 hours saved up. Should be getting something like $15,000 this Friday. Edit. There are too many to reply to now, but for people wondering. I work a job that puts me on the road for 10 months per year. I'm single without kids. And I like my job. And being out on the road. So my time builds up rather quickly. I usually take one week off. And I get a few days off for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I really should take more vacation. Though. I'm getting a kitten. I've wanted one for so long. And I'm finally getting one with my boyfriend. Currently sitting in the car waiting for him to lock the front door to our apartment. So we can head over to Petco to buy the essentials. And then a mini road trip to pick up our kitten. It's my dog's birthday. I get to give her treats all day and she isn't even quite sure why. My two year old daughter is learning to play Pokemon Go with me. From home. She is making her game a dad smile. Someone liked my meme, and it made my day. My city had protests last night and there was some vandalism and looting. When I drove through today, folks were out in force cleaning up. For lunch, I tried Popa's chicken sandwich for the first time in my life. It was amazing. My professor agreed to write me a rec letter. Was one of the last things I needed for med school apps. I'm also happy to see a lot of my old friends from high school are supporting the protests. I think that's pretty important.